the fields parameter feature has been out for a few weeks now. I've had a little play with it. I've come across a few quirks and I've got a few tips for you. Remember, this is a preview feature, so things are going to change. But here's my tips as of now. Let's go. If you didn't see my previous video on this, a little link will pop up, go and check that out. But I'm gonna use some data that's free for you to use. You can download it. You can go to our Access Analytic website. You can download a calendar or the timetable, but down here, dummy data sets. This is the data I'm gonna use. I'll also put a copy of this file I'm using in the show notes, so check it out. So I've had a chance to play about with this for a few weeks, and I just wanna show you a couple of little tips. Uh, one around how you change the color of selected items in a chart, and the second one, how you make the heading dynamic. So what I'm gonna do, here we go. We're gonna go into modeling, new parameters, fields. And I'm just going to say, let's pick a, you know, a chosen measure. And in my sales table, I've got two measures I've already built, sales dollars and units sold. So they're all sorted. Okay. I can move the order, whichever way I want them to display. Click create. And a little slicer will pop up on my page. Let me just drag it across. Okay. So here's the slicer and here's the little table that gets built. And there's a table over here called chosen measure. And it's got a couple of hidden columns. Let's just go and have a look at the data view. This is the, the table here. That's the visible column. And then there's two hidden columns in here. Right. So let's just see it in action. So I am going to add a simple chart, a little bar chart. I'm going to put the chosen measure into the X axis. And let's put store name into the Y axis and tick sales dollar. Great. Okay. And let's turn the data labels on as well. So we can see those in action. So sales dollar. So we've got the dollar signs in here, which is perfect. Make this a little bit wider. And we can click on units sold. No dollar signs. Lovely. But they're the same color. Right. I'm toggling between them. They're the same color. If I don't have them both selected, they're different colors. And I can go and click on here and say bars. Let's say I wanna say sales is orange and units sold is going to be um, blue. That works beautifully, but as soon as I pick one, the colors change, okay? So my initial reaction, okay, well, let's try this. Let's try and put this in the legend. So we go chosen measure into the legend Okay, now the legend shows the orange and the blue. So sales dollar, ah, oh, still doesn't work. So here's my little hack. Hopefully there's an easier way, somebody let me know. But I go into my table here. I'm gonna add a new column. So click on the new column button. And this is gonna be called, um, let's say measure name equals and it's the chosen measure column. So I start typing chosen measure and it's chosen measure, chosen measure. Oof, that's pretty awful, I probably should rename this table. Okay, so that's the new measure name. Go back to my report, get rid of chosen measure, put measure name in the legend. But look, there's a little bug here. I can't drag measure name into the legend box. Why? Okay, so. I tick a measure, then I can come back here and I can drag measure name into the legend box. Let me just check if it's a clicking away thing. Okay. So if I have both selected, I click away, I click back, and I drag measure name into the legend. No, okay, I've got to pick one. Then measure, click on here, weird, okay. Like I say, preview feature, so things will change. So that's great. Units sold, ah, oh, they're different colors. I didn't remember my colors I chose. So I go into here now, I go into the bars, I make sure I haven't got anything selected. Sorry, come in here, bars, orange for sales, blue for units sold. Now I click sales, great, ah, oh, perfect. Okay, also, if you want to have your heading be a bit more um, customized rather than saying 
this by name and measure name. Check this out. Right click, new measure. Okay, uh, measure title perhaps equals selected value. But you can't use the chosen measure. I wish IntelliSense would be bigger. Okay, you can't use chosen measure. You have to use the new column we just created, the measure name. Okay, um, comma, and if nothing's picked, then I'll say pick from slicer. Okay, if you're doing dynamic titles and things, put a little bit of a description in there as well, such as used in dynamic title for chart on page XYZ, page one. Okay, right. So how do we put this in our title here? Well, you click on the chart, you go to general title, and then you click on this FX, okay? Click on the FX, and then from here, you can go to your chosen measure, measure title, click okay. And there's units sold and sales. Okay, so a couple of reasons to add an extra column to your um, automatically created field parameter table. There may be a better way, let me know if there is. Um, this is what I've found out so far. I'll have a couple more tips in another video. Catch you later, hope you enjoy it. Share this with everyone. Thanks for watching. <music>